Hi, my name is Catherine and I'm a craftaholic. Welcome to my craft room and my channel. Hi guys, long time no see, but here I am in my craft room with JD purring on my lap. I'm gonna maybe try to lift her and have her say hi. She's not gonna like it. Oh, there she is. There she is, my 13 year old baby. She is happy because I have spent a lot of time in my room the last few days. And um, yeah, she's not always making it easy for me, sitting on my beats. But um, it's nice to have company. She's my little craft buddy. So I have lots of things to, lots of things to talk about. And um, I have, well, I have some acquisitions small ones but fun i have fo's finished objects i have a channel a channel a challenge and i have a coupon code and that's it <laughs> and of course i have a, a useless fact but <clears throat> let's start with um the acquisitions? Sure. Well, first of all, see this? See this? This yarn? It's a present from um, Reggie. Thank you so much, girl. I am gonna do something that's on my 2021 bucket list with it. Um, and that is knitting a jacquard or a fair isle. Um, it's not exactly the same, but what it is, it is knitting um, a pattern with two colors of, of, of yarn. Um, I have not done that in over 20 years. I hope I, I can still do it. I hope I still know how, but in case I don't, well, you know, YouTube um, is your friend. Okay, acquisitions. The acquisitions I have are online purchases uh, I made with um, Singles Day and Black Friday and they are all beads. <laughs> when I come across cool beads online, it is, I was gonna say hard, no, it's impossible to resist, especially when I see them and I'm thinking, oh, that would make great earrings or stitch markers. I got some more shells. Ooh, the shiny paper. I haven't taken them out yet. I just love, 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 love these shells. And I am wondering if they would make good earrings. I'm gonna make a pair and, and, and test it to see if, if the color. I am so sorry. I'm gonna have to make a pair and see if the color doesn't rub off. I have to say, um, the stitch marker I used did not rub off. So, aren't these little conscious cute? So I've got these and I have these little globes. I already made stitch markers with them. These little globes that are filled with um, shiny little stars. Glitter, but doesn't show. I'll insert a picture. Um, and they have all kinds of colors, multicolor. But I also have, it so reminds me of gumballs. Aren't these cute? These would actually make good earrings also. These, when you shake them, they, they make noise. And it would drive me crazy to have that noise in my ears all the time. But these are like, um, um, what do you call that? Um, styrofoam balls. 
and they don't make any noise so or would that be too silly to have gumballs on your ears let me know okay what else oh yeah i found these can you see them these are peace signs hey i just noticed i put this one upside down silly me well it's a style but i'll rectify it later I've got these peace signs. They're made out of howlet. It's a, a stone, which is um, naturally a white marbled uh, stone. Um, it seems to be very easy to color it. Um, you can find turquoise. That's not really turquoise, but um, colored howlet. Well, I have these in all kinds of colors. And... Um, let me just grab them or a few of them and i made earrings with of course swarovskis on the bottom but i also made stitch markers and i had a lot of self-control on the stitch markers i did not use Swarovskis. I forbade myself to use Swarovskis. So I have made these. Oh, I had so much fun. Um, What else did I get? Oh yeah, these are cute. They are pom-poms. Faux fur pom-poms. Aren't these adorable? I so want to make earrings with them. I'm gonna put like a piece of chain so that they're really dangly. I can totally, totally see it. And ooh, also, I'm gonna make stitch markers with them all as well. I got two colors of those. Cream colored ones and gray. Um, yeah, I already showed you the gumballs. This is crazy. I ordered these in April and they got here last week crazy I tell you shipping shipping is, is, is ridiculous right now and I do get it because there's a lot of online sales going on and does a lot of shipping and delivery but still it's crazy then I have these it's um ah oh, the name escapes me uh what you call them <sighs> appetite A ap appetite appetite stone you're right it's written like appetite not appetite but appetite and I love this color so much and I'm thinking of making me a bracelet. They are faceted beads and that's what makes them shine. I love teal. I once um, had my colors tested, like what season are you? And I appeared to be uh, complete uh, autumn or fall color so that's burgundies and browns and teal and um, rust colors all warm colors but teal is definitely one of my favorite colors and I'm so happy mustard is also one of them and I love mustard and teal together and oh so many mustard colors things right now I love it Okay, what else did I get? I'm almost done. Um, what else did I get? Ah, yeah. Well, this is, I will show you. I got these silver earring hooks that you use to, uh, that you can use to, to put, um, 
pendants on, like these Swarovski hearts. They're served sterling silver. So, I really, really, really like the simplicity of this, though it doesn't show, of course, pictures will follow. Then I've got this mixed bag of charms. Perfect for stitch markers. Um, can you tell I'm in a very stitch mark kind of mood? Then I have these. Oh, I need to show you. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. They're bronze color. That they have this wash on them that makes them look kind of antique looking. Uh, it, it it you know what it made me it makes me think of things you see in a museum like the really oxidized copper and and and, and others and yeah I'm gonna have much fun with these as well. Probably stitch markers, though they're pretty large, but probably stitch markers. And then, do you remember these filigree hearts I got? And I made earrings and stitch markers on them, which you can actually already... Ooh, I wrote on my hand. Which you can actually already uh, get on my Etsy store, but... oh. See, this is horrible. I'll insert a picture because on camera it's hard to show. Well, like these hearts, I got some more filigree parts. I got some leaves. And there are a ridiculous amount of colors. And these will make very cute earrings as well as stitch markers. And I am pretty torn because now I'm not sure if I'm going to make earrings or stitch markers out of them I have only two of each color so um, my friend suggested I would do 50-50 it's a good idea but how to determine what color will become earrings and what color will become stitch markers hard very very hard and then I have these and they are so adorable they're filigree moons with mommy or daddy cat and kitten and i cute now these cannot be um stitch markers because this will catch in your yarn all the time so annoying so these will become earrings and bookmarks ah oh, that will make awesome bookmarks oh, yes yes bookmarks great idea guys thank you <laughs> and then last but not least i have these metal conches these are not suitable to become earrings because they're very very heavy and these will become stitch markers and would also be very cute for bookmarks markers they will be and um that's it for the beads acquisitions but there is something else and i seriously i need points for self-control because I am not good, um, absolutely not good into receiving a package and not opening it. So I have been good. I got it yesterday and I did not open it completely. I checked it, I did not really open it. Okay, this is the box. It comes from China, obviously. Now, I am very susceptible to uh, advertisement. I am. I admit it. 
and Facebook knows that. And I've been getting these um, ads for printed canvas cross stitch. That's a mouthful, but I am intrigued. I was intrigued and now I am obsessed with it. I want to try it. I really want to try it. Because see, the thing is, I love cross stitch. In fact, if you follow me on, on Instagram, you could see that I was cross stitching um, last weekend. I love cross stitch, but um, it can be tedious to always refer to the chart and, 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 and to know and to count uh, your stitches, etc. And with the printed canvas, the chart is printed on your canvas. I mean, how cool is that? I used to have these, these like printed canvases when I was a kid, but this is different. It's not just a, a, a the drawing printed on the, on the, on the Ida, on the canvas, and, and you just fill in the colors. No, this is the chart with all the symbols like you have on your page that comes with the, with the, with the work. And that is printed on the canvas. And I'm telling you, I want to do that so much. It's like a paint by number. It's like a, um, a diamond painting. Oh, I just love that kind of stuff. It's, it's, I don't know why. I, I love that. How about you guys? Do you diamond paint or paint by color or cross stitch? I just love it. So I got this. And I'm going to open it with you. I am going to do a review on it. But oh my god. I'm so excited. Ooh, look at it. Oh my god, look at it. Oh, oh look at the Oh, and I got silk. I thought, why not? For a few more euros, the difference between cotton and silk. Let me show you the picture. This is what I got. And I'm thinking, that would look great on my wall. Did I say I love teal? This is actual, uh, actually more like a Prussian blue. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, like, is there anything more, <laughs> more exciting than opening a new kit? I love kits. I love buying a project where everything is included. Sorry about the crinkling. I'm gonna put this down. And get things out one by one. Ooh. Okay, this is the um, cardboard with the numbers to put the threads on. These colors are so pretty, it's so shiny. I'm gonna take it out because I don't know if the shine comes through. Oh wow, this floss is amazingly gorgeous. Yes, can you see how shiny it is? It is so soft. I've never I've never used silk and I actually wonder if it's real silk. Ma, you can wash it at 95 degrees Celsius. Yeah, right. I believe that. And you can iron in and tumble dry. That will absolutely not be silk. I don't mind though, but that's the thing on buying from China. Their regulations aren't as strict as European. But in any case, it is beautifully shiny. It is super soft and um, 
Oh, it's going to be fun to work with. I can just imagine how it glides in the canvas. Oh, this is pretty. I look at the colors. <gasps> look at the teal. Look at the gold. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I am very excited already. Moving on. This is... Wow. This is the chart. Apparently, it's... Wow. This is very, very, very detailed. By the way, I don't only... I not only love teal. I also, for some reason, love ginkgo leaves. I think that is such a beautiful shape. Nature made it so perfectly. I love ginkgo. So that's actually... There's really two two things on that on that uh, on this uh, project that I love combined. Wow! Look at the canvas. It basically looks like a diamond painting, right? And look at it. Just like with a diamond painting, it is printed on the ida on the on the canvas, but it is perfectly accurate it is perfectly accurate and here you have the, um, the symbols the chart with the symbols oh and i like the size it's big i like it i think i'm holding it upside down though yes i am look at that isn't that gonna be fun to do oh I have so much stuff to do and I want to start doing that. I am very impatient when I have obsessions like this. I just want to do it. Okay, so this is a canvas. Tell me, guys, have you ever seen this? Did you see that already? Because for me, it was brand new. I don't know how long it exists. But like I said, I'm going to do a complete review uh, on this whole kit. Um... What else is in there? More. Ah, yeah, more chart. And this is on some kind of uh, plastic sheet. I wonder why that is. And what else comes in that pack? Wax. I don't know if I'm gonna wax it though. And this is comes even with needles. Yeah, fancy needles with a golden uh, eye. Um, <laughs> how do you how do you call that um, to cut the threads? I only know the French word for it. It's called a découvite, which translates into um, unsou fast. That actually sh even might sound Chinese. What do you call this in English? Let me know. No idea. So um, they know me. They know, they know I'm going to make mistakes and I'm going to have to cut them. <laughs> wow, it even comes with knip the, um, snippers and it comes with one uh, needle treader i cannot work with these things and with one um tread card i have no idea why they would give you one maybe for the the tread you're working with at that moment i don't know so that is my very 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 exciting printed canvas cross stitch kit whoo i said it okay i'm sorry i'm gonna try to um what do you call it i'm gonna try to um center myself and um 
have the kid in the candy store or leave the building. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. I get very excited about things like that. And luckily for me, I know that you guys know what that feels like. I have kindred spirits that know how exciting it is to start something new, to discover new things and to create new things. Not everybody understands. It's just like they don't understand why we need such extensive collections of all our crafts. But you guys understand. I love you guys. Okay, that was my um, very long-winded <laughs> acquisitions. Um, then, let's go to FOs, finished objects. Yes, I have... I was going to say two. No, 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 no. I have three. And two of those things actually have something very exciting. Well, not very exciting, but there's more to tell than just to show the, the finished object. And let's start with this beanie. Yes, it is uh, way too large for me because I made it for uh, the boyfriend. Yes, yes, yes. And this beanie, why is it so special? Except the fact that it's a very pretty pattern. Look at these fancy laying puff stitches. And you all know I hate puff stitches, but I love how they look. So I just do them. Now, this beanie is called the Hona Lee Beanie. And it's a pattern by J-Hook Crochet. And ta -da -da -da, this pattern is now available on her Etsy store. Yes. I tested the pattern for her and um, incidentally boyfriend needed a hat or a beanie and I killed two birds with one stone and that's actually a very bad expression. I don't like it but you know what I mean. So there you go. I tested the pattern and boyfriend got a hat out of it. I used yarn from Action. It's the stonewashed um, that I had in my stash and I love stonewashed yarns. I love how it looks. I love the denim look and I definitely decided that I need to get more of that stonewashed yarn because it's a solid color and it's not and I really like that. So I made this with um, a little over 100 grams of um, a, a medium weight, a light, a light three, a medium, what is it? So what would that be, a DK? I'm so bad with that. Um, I have this little... This little cheat sheet that I got from the mermaid's purse. And a number three would be a DK or a light worsted. That's it. And I used a four and a, um, a five and a five millimeter hook to make it. It was very fun to make and it took me like two days, like not two full days, but I made it in two days, um, two evenings of working with it so as always i put the link in the description box uh, down low but there is also something i would like to say about that um reggie today is december 12th 2020 and tonight if you get to see this today hurry up hurry hurry on over Tonight, Reggie is doing a live, a uh, holiday live game show with lots of presents you can win. And in honor of the live, she, but not only she, I also, offers 20% off store-wide on her Etsy store. And also I do offer 
20% off um, from today, 12, 12, 20 to 14, 12, 20. I will also, one of the prizes will also be uh, a gift of mine. And it's uh, basically, you get to pick a pair of earrings in my store, whichever pair you want. So that was exciting news, news that I already spilled. Oops. But if you want the Hona Lee pattern, you can get it at 20% off today. Yes. And the link is in the description box down below. Okay. Other finished object. Well, it's a finished object, except that I have to work in my treads. I hate working in ends. And that's why I normally do it as I go. But... In this case, because of the pattern, it was not possible to do it as I go. And ta-da! But I finished my... Arabella shawl. I love it so, so much. And look at that. It's like, if, even if you turn it around, it's like a sunset on a beach right i love the shawl the yarn i used is by little vicious stitches that i will link in the description box below the pattern um it's from skeno but i adapted it and in uh, last in the, my last video's description box, um, I wrote down all the adaptations I did. I will link that in the that video in the description box as well. So other than working in my ends, this is a finished object. Yes, it is. Let's hide the ends. And then the third finished object. Well. I'm proud. I'm proud of it. It is the first time I did this. Um, I made my own crochet pattern. This inspired me to make a crochet version of it. Because I know knitting is not everybody's cup of tea. So I made a crochet version of it. And I filmed a tutorial, and a tutorial will be available very soon. But without further ado, let me show you the Fantasia shawl. It also fans out like the Arabella shawl. It's half double crochets and single crochets. And now for this one, I used um, Ice Yarns, um, ah, Alara. Whew. I used Ice Yarns Alara. See, and you have a lace border that widens as the shawl progresses or actually well you make it in the other the other way but as you go it the lace work becomes larger and you have these fans these triangles okay let's switch shawls so, like I said, oh, I'm caught up in my hands here. Like I said, the tutorial will be available soon. And here, no ends. They are worked in. Because I could do that as I went. With crochet, it's easier to, to work in your ends as you go than with, with um, knitting. So... There you go. Ah, yes. Huh. 
Isn't that exciting? My very first pattern from scratch. I know. I'm proud. <laughs> okay. I'm also a little bit silly. So that was it for finished objects. Then I also mentioned a challenge. And um, it's a UFO challenge. Natalie from Natalie's Closet um, is actually challenging everybody. But she also tagged me to participate into the Closet UFO channel. A challenge. Why do I keep saying channel instead of challenge? It's a challenging word. Okay, it's the uh, hashtag closet UFO challenge. And we all have closet UFOs. Come on, admit it. We all do. I have UFOs in very many different crafts. <laughs> but um, for this challenge's purpose right now, I am gonna start with crochet UFO and I have many but I'm gonna start with committing to finishing two shamelessly overdue UFOs it's two things that are promised to someone and it's shameful because they should have received it already I should have finished it so this is actually the kick in the keister I needed um, to finish them. And um, the reason why I didn't finish them, you actually saw me start them. The reason why I, fin I didn't finish them is because I ran out of yarn. And it was a panicky moment because, number one, this m little Miss Rabbit... Um, I couldn't get the yarn anymore. It was nowhere to be... Well, the yarn comes from Action. And they. this is one of the uh, rarer things that is um, in their permanent um, collection. But they changed the colors of these... Excuse me, of these cotton yarns. I'm sorry. So <clears throat> these cotton balls come in these sets of eight. And they changed the colorways. They are slightly different. The white isn't the same white, the pink isn't the same pink. And Reggie, lifesaver she is. Um, send me some of the older ones she still has so I can finish her and for her hubby he's gonna be slightly different shade of pink but that's okay he's gonna be a little bit paler she has a tan so now that I have cotton balls again I have no excuse to not finish this little cute bridal bunny uh, couple so that's UFO number one. UFO number two is the Katniss shawl. I started and again, I ran out of yarn. But that problem has been solved. I did like five stores. This yarn comes from Zeman. And Zeman also has limited amount of yarn. Now, um, Reggie has done some shopping videos where you can see how we don't have yarn like aisles and aisles of yarn like you guys have at Hobby Lobby or at Michaels unless you go to a local yarn shop which has a relatively small collection of yarns uh, usually a few brands in supermarkets or, or, or large craft stores, you can't find um, yarn easily. So 
the easiest thing for us is to order online. But we have a few stores that do sell um, yarn that has a nice price quality ratio. Action is one and Zeeman is another one. And this is my favorite Zeeman yarn. It's uh, called Lisa. It's a bulky yarn. It is super soft and it works up like a dream. But they have one yarn collection every year and that's August, September. The yarn comes in and well, when it's sold out, it's sold out. And though the yarns have the same names, they change the colorways every year. So um, the blue from one year is going to be different than the blue from the next year. And even the same year, the, there can be a very large difference between two color baths. So to make a very long story short, I needed more yarn. And I did a few Zeeman stores. Uh, I think I did five before I managed to find one bag of this color. All I could find was a lighter gray. So I saw that bag and I grabbed it all. And I'm sorry if anyone else was dealing with the same problem. I got it all. It's mine. <laughs> I got it all. Um... I am very happy that I managed to find it. Um, now, why I have been reluctant to continue with this is because that is one of the reasons why UFOs remain UFOs, I think, with a lot of people. Is you don't really remember how you have to do it and finding the pattern or the tutorial is not always easy and then when you do you have to find the spot where you where you left it and start over so i do remember that this wasn't a very hard repeat but i am gonna have to figure out where i left it and how i need to start it up again so i promise that these two UFOs will be finished by the beginning of January. Okay, halfway January. But I also have a few things in the pipeline that I need to work on. And I want to start that cross stitch. But I, I am committing myself to finishing these by halfway January. And the good thing is it's very re rewarding to finish something. And to be able to give it to the person you intended to give it to. So that is my... UF closeted no so this is my closet UFO challenge commitment and I am supposed to nominate other people I'm not gonna do it this time I'm gonna do it another time and also I am gonna continue doing this and um, nominating people as long as I feel that I have to finish UFOs and that I find the time to do it. So um, let's say I nominate you all in general. Do you have closeted UFOs? Do you have UFOs that you started for someone? Um, Hell, I have somewhere a um, half-knitted sweater that I made for my 
uh, godson when he, well, that I started making for my godson when he was, what, six, maybe? And now he's 20, 26. Yeah. Yeah, that's not gonna, that's not gonna happen. I mean, that's a repurpose. Even if it is a repurpose. Um... Yeah, I'm just nominating all of you. Do you have UFOs of shame that you really, really, really need to finish? Also, do you have UFOs that you know you will never, ever finish? There's no way you are going to finish it because it's outdated. You ran out of yarn. You really don't like the pattern. You really don't like what it looks like well repurpose it because that's another thing with the challenge you don't only have you 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 can also um choose to uh repurpose an old ufo because it's i mean it's just sad yarns yarn wants to become something pretty make it pretty give it his perf give it its purpose <laughs> okay i am totally totally um making this ridiculously long so i am gonna um say goodbye for now for those of you who want to join us tonight on the holiday life game show it is at six at night 6 p.m uh our time so that's uh berlin brussels time um i only know that it's noon florida time and <laughs> figure it out for the rest of the world i am so very sorry um it is on J-Hook's channel and the link is in the description box below. And uh, also don't forget that you get a 20% off with the coupon that you can find in the description box as well. But I'm going to put it on the screen now. Screen now. And the coupon code is J-Hook1212. And you can use it from December 12th, 2020 to December 14th, 2020 on my Etsy shop and J-Hook's Etsy shop. Okay, I think I did end up saying what I wanted to say. I think so. And um, I can only thank you for watching. Um, if you like my videos, give them a thumbs up, uh, share them with your friends. Um, yeah, that's the spiel, I think. Yeah. Give it a thumbs up, share it if you like. And oh yeah, if you want to be notified whenever I put out new content, which is a little bit irregularly right now because I am very busy and <sighs> live. Um, if you want to be notified whenever I put up a new video, hit the subscription button, button and make sure that you also hit the bell um, that says all. So you get notifications whenever I post something new. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being you. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And before I go, I can... I and before I go I leave you with this completely useless fact and that is that a moonbow is a rainbow that happens at night see you next time bye